Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Annette and today I'm going to be continuing my Pat or Toss YouTube series. I'm going to be reviewing the Cause RX Snail Mucin Essence. I've been using this essence now for, my goodness, I think two and a half months. Can that be right? So I've been using it for two and a half months and honestly it's lasted me quite a while but that's how much I have left and I think I've really had this for two and a half months and so that's where we're at right now. So I'm going to be letting you know today if this is a product that I would recommend you pat on your skin or toss and I'm also going to be letting you know about any pros or cons that this essence might have as well. So if you'd like to learn more about all of that, please stay tuned and keep watching. Please also kindly consider liking this video, sharing, commenting, and then also subscribing to my channel if you enjoy this review as well. Oh. All right, let's get serious. So first I'm going to talk about what exactly an essence is. What an essence does is it adds that first step of hydration to the skin. It goes ahead and it gives the skin that supple, glass-like look, which is a lesson and a step that we actually borrowed from K-Beauty. Uh, so that's a, really, that's a really good thing to know, is that it's actually from Korea. Um, and so that's what an essence does. And then also, an essence is really great because of its lower molecular weight. And that allows it to penetrate deeper into the skin, which allows other products to penetrate deeper into the skin as well well so then when you look at a toner a toner can be rather similar to an essence but overall a toner's main job really is to balance your skin's ph so when we're talking about a toner and an essence they can replace each other in certain skincare routines and that's why you'll hear some people will say well you don't really need an essence and in part that might be true um, it really depends on yourself and your skin and what you want to do in your routine um, a toner's job is to balance your pH an essence's job is the fact that it gives your skin that hydration and then also because of the molecular weight it allows products to penetrate deeper into the skin so going back to what I said about a toner and an essence being rather similar I actually went to an article about the New York magazine and this is what the article mentions so they, interview, they, they interviewed the founder of the K-beauty brand Peach and & Lily, and her name is Alicia Yun. And so here is what she said. She says, your essence might double as a toner or a pH balancing toner packed with hydrating agents can double as an essence. That's what she said. And then uh, they go on to say, the New York Magazine goes on to say, it's easier to resist trying to categorize them and instead just choose what feels good and works for your skin. Then somebody else in the article goes on to say, we've come to such an elevated space in skincare. We used to have ointments, creams, lotions, and gels. Now we have hybrid gel creams. Skincare is more nuanced now. So when it comes to a toner and essence, they really can double as each other in different places. And also some brands will market certain things in essence that really could be a toner or a toner that really could be an essence. So it's all over the place. But just for you to know, a toner really focuses on pH balancing and essence is that hydration. And because of the lower molecular weight, it allows other products to penetrate as well. So now I'm going to talk about how this product is described online. So I bought this essence actually from Ulta Beauty. So I'm going to go on their website just so you can see what I saw when I was reading it. So they say, enhance your skin's natural glow with nutrient dense advanced snail 96 mucin power essence from COSRX. This highly concentrated essence contains 96% snail mucin, a powerful ingredient known to aid in skin repair, hydration, brightness, and tone. Like a multivitamin for your skin, this replenishing essence contains nutrients to repair skin damage, boost elasticity, and maintain skin moisture. So that is what they describe this product as being on the Ulta Beauty website. So now I'm gonna talk about the top five ingredients for this product. In all my videos, I like to focus on the top five ingredients. This is because uh, looking at an ingredient list, the higher up an ingredient is on the list, 
the more of it is being formulated within that product. And so it's good to look at all of the ingredients in general, but myself, I really like to focus on the top five as well, just to make sure that whatever is being advertised to me, um, like if they're gonna if they're gonna talk about hydration and skin repair, blah blah blah, I really want to see that in the top five or even in the top ten if the list is that long. Uh, so I really want to see that just so I know I'm getting my money's worth and I know that I'm gonna okay I'm gonna see that this is gonna happen, and you know it allows me to trust the product, trust the brand, and you know then I kind of kind of rate for myself in an honest way if the product is working the way they say it's supposed to work. And so with ingredients, I like to also mention that I love to use Polish Choice Ingredient List. That is such a handy list to have and it's great because you can pull it up wherever you are. Um, and looking at the ingredient list, Polish Choice will rank certain ingredients as from poor to average to good to best. And so myself, I like to use products where the ingredients hover between good and best. If I really want to try the product, I might go down to average, but I will never do poor. So that's just so you know about how I pick and choose what products I use. Um, coming in at number one is the snail secretion filtrate. And to, I know what that was basically, but I really wanted to kind of break it down um, in a scientific way. And whenever I want like a really good breakdown scientifically that makes sense to my artistic brain, <laughs> I love to go to Lab Muffin. She is incredible when it comes to breaking things down in that way, uh, just in a way that the everyday person can understand from her brilliant mind to my mind that's just filled with memes, basically. <laughs> so, um, so what she explains about the snail secretion filtrate, first of all, I just wanted to let you all know that snails are not, you know, how do I say? Um, the snail lives <laughs> in this process. The snail lives, but as lab as lab, but as lab muffin science says, um, it doesn't sound like a very pleasurable experience to get the mucin out of the snail. So what that what I'm trying to say with that is that she explains that for us to get the the slime from the snail that is used in skincare, it comes out when snails are stressed. So it's not the slime that you'll see when they're just moving normally. Um, it's a slime that you'll see, as she explains, if you poke a snail, for instance. And so then she goes on to explain what is contained within that snail slime that we use in skincare. So, and so she says, snail slime contains a complex mixture of chemicals, which normally help regenerate snail cells after they've been injured. The mix within that includes collagen and elastin, which she describes as proteins, which are too big to actually get through the skin, but might have a humectant effect. Glycolic acid, which we know is an exfoliant. Uh, hyaluronic, ac hyaluronic acid, which we know to be a humectant. Uh, and then she also mentions antimicrobial peptides, which kill microbes. And there's some other things in there as well. That's what the snail filtrate is. And with the snail filtrate, we know that that is hydrating based on what the mix includes. We know it's hydrating. We know it's gonna target dead skin cells. The second ingredient is betaine. Betaine, according to Paula's Choice, is also known as something that naturally occurs in the skin and body called osmolite. And what osmolite is, osmolite, betaine, they help with the skin hydration. They help to allow the skin to be more balanced when it comes to hydration. It helps against moisture loss on the skin as well. So again, we're seeing that hydration coming into effect as the Ulta Beauty description said that you would be getting. The third ingredient is Bootling Glycol. That is a texture enhancer. So if you buy this product, the way that it feels, it kind of has a really cool, like, um, it's very, it's, it's light, but it does have like a certain uh, silky feel to it. So that definitely is where the Bootling Glycol comes into play as well. The fourth ingredient is hexanediol. This is a synthetic preservative, which helps, so preservatives help uh, to prevent contamination uh, within the skincare products. So that's really great that that's in there as well. And so the fifth ingredient is sodium hyaluronate. This is a salt form of hyaluronic acid. Hyaluronic acid is a humectant. It's fantastic, a fantastic, fantastic, 
fantastic humectant. It holds on to the water particles on our skin and allows to help us maintain moisture and giving us that supple glass look that we get on our skin when we do that. So now I'll talk about how I use this product. So this is a product that I actually use twice a day, morning and night. I always use it after a toner or after an exfoliation process. So what I mean by that is, for instance, the, Pol the Polish Choice BHA exfoliant or lactic acid or glycolic acid, any of those things, I will use a toner, my exfoliant, and then I'll go in with my essence. If I'm not using an exfoliant, because I only exfoliate two to three times a week, um, then I just use my toner and then I'll use this essence. And that is the same step I'll follow morning and night. And so that's how I use this product. What I do is um, for all of my products, I think, I'll, yeah, for every single product I use, except for drying my skin, I use my hands. And so for this product, I squirt two pumps onto my hands, rub them together, and then I pat it onto my skin. I do my face, the front of my neck, the back of my neck, and the sides of my neck, and I'll bring it down to my chest area as well. So is this a product that I would recommend that you pat or that you toss? This is definitely a product that I would recommend that you pat, and I think you should pat it right now. Like, I think you need to go get it right now. Right now. This product has definitely improved the texture of my skin. Um, I've honestly noticed that my skin just responds incredibly to any form of hydration. The more hydration I give it, the better. Um, but especially with this product, I have found that my skin just looks incredibly supple it looks um, like alive if that makes any sense and you can instantly see the difference and the balancing and texture from the second you apply it onto your skin and then that balance continues to stay on even after it's been cleansed off the skin which is why i really admire this product um, i also love this product because it's so easy to use i talk about packaging in my other videos but like literally you pop this off and then the pump the pump is like that so it's really really simple to use you push it down and you can kind of measure and gauge how much you're using each time that you use the product so I really really admire that I love the price point for this product um, I like to stay away from talking about price for certain products because you know I don't, I don't know what's affordable to each person the definition of affordable is so different to each person so I like to really talk about is this affordable is it not but for myself I really admire the price point for this product um, and for the fact that it's lasted me two months and a half like I wish you can't believe that I mean even saying that I'm like what I don't know how that even happened but the truth is really you don't need that much you can use one or two pumps anything more and I find that my skin just starts to like it's just it goes all over the place it's too much but you don't use a lot and then the ingredients definitely live up to what the description of the product says that you will be get getting and then you definitely see the results i mean i have all pros for this product i have no cons so i would definitely recommend that you pack this onto your skin so that's all for me today um let me know in the comments below have you tried this product is this a product that you're thinking about trying what is it about the product that appeals to you and then also let me know other products that you would love for me to try out to review for yourself um, any questions you might have about products that i've already talked about let me know in the comment section below and then also please consider liking this video sharing don't forget to comment and then also please consider subscribing to my channel i thank you all so much for watching this video today and i hope that you are all well you're all happy you're all safe and thriving i wish that all for you um, and just know that we're all going to get through this together. And thank you all for watching this video today. I'm rambling because I love you all so much. And bye. <laughs>